Hello and welcome to DG UK TV with myself Martin Brennan. Today we're going to be talking about defensive walls and I'll give you four points on how to keep this really simple. So first thing we're going to look at is placing yourself behind the nearest post. So if the free kick's been given here, you're the goalkeeper here, you're going to go and place yourself behind the post so you give yourself your best view to line up the perfect wall. Okay, step two. Next thing to look at is communicate first of all how many players you want in the wall. And the second thing here is, and this is going to go in a little bit more detail, if you're playing in an under age group, meaning under 9s through to say 12s, under 13s, and you're working in smaller goals, my recommendation would be that you're either going to put one in the wall or two in the wall. And the reason you'd put one in the wall is if the ball was placed on quite a wide area in and around here and here. So if the free kick's given nice and wide, then you're going to look at one player in the wall. If the free kick's given more of a central area around here, you're going to look at putting two players in the wall. Okay. Now, let's move on to the, uh, the full-size goal. And again, I'm, I'm looking at this really, really basic for you and keeping it simple. If you're in a full-size goal, 11 v 11, again, same rule applies. If it's in a wide area, you're looking at two in the wall. And if it's more of a cent and the wide area here, and if more of a central area in here, you're going to be looking at four players in the wall. Again, it's going to slightly vary, but this is just to give you a rough guidance. Okay, step three, lining up the wall. So I've used an 11 v 11 situation here. Now, as a goalie, you're going to go and stand behind the line of the post. The free kick's been given here. What you're going to try and do here is you're going to try and imagine a line running from the post through to the ball. You're going to put one player on the outside of the wall, and then as it's quite a central area, you're then going to put three in beside them. What this does is this potentially takes out the left footer swinging it round on the outside of the post, and then your right footer swinging around, obviously, on the other side of the post. Okay, fourth and final step we're looking at is your starting position. So, you've lined everything up, you've got your four players in the wall, okay? Now you're going to split the goal in half, you're going to give the responsibility of the wall, this side of the goal, and you're then going to go and stand in this side of the goal to protect your half. Don't take too much responsibility on and give that responsibility of the wall protecting this side. Please bear in mind these are really rough guidances, but it gives you a fantastic opportunity to go and set the walls up yourself. And there's four simple ways of trying to make your defensive walls a bit more effective.